fully integrated graphics chips were known for their underwhelming performance in games, but none were as bad as the Via Pro 9 HC. Released in 2007, it was the graphics force of Via's P4M900 chipset, which was commonly found in budget socket 775 motherboards like this MSI one here. The Chrome 9 features two pixel pipelines, one vertex shader, a core clock of 250 MHz, support for DirectX 9 and shader mode 2.0, and can take up to 256 MB of system RAM as its VRAM. Navaya marketed it on their website as a good solution for video playback and the latest 3D and digital media applications back in the day, which we will test it out in this video. One thing to keep in mind is that this iGPU does not support dual channel RAM, which makes the fact that I couldn't get two RAM sticks working on this motherboard irrelevant. We will be using a Core 2 Duo E4500 running at 2.2GHz, a single 2GB stick of DDR2 RAM and Windows XP. As a bonus, we will be using a Sound Blaster Live sound card as I couldn't get the integrated sound chip working. Starting off with 3 Mark 2000, we got a score of 2720, while in 2001 SE we got 1847. To put that into perspective, Intel's GMA900 could get double the score on the latter. 3 Mark 03 surprised me, but also didn't. While the Chrome 9 does support DirectX 9 and could load the nature test, we only got a score of 408. Unreal Tournament was very playable at 800 by 600 with 32 bit colors. However, there were some skips that would only get worse when increasing the resolution. I also had a go at Rank and Glide, but it was only playable at 640 by 480 with 60 bit colors. An increase in resolution would mark the game unplayable. Quake 3 ran very well at 645 for a, but the frame rate would drop when the action heated up. In a competitive experience, it's not something you would want at all, but the Chrome 9 just wasn't capable of maintaining the 64 FPS average. Max Payne was a very smooth experience at 645 for a and would only slow down in the most intense scenes, increasing the resolution to a staggering 1024 by 768 made the game almost playable, but with quite a few slowdowns. The Sims 2 was kind of playable, but there were also texture glitches which may be distracting. Uh, unfortunately I did not measure the frame rate, but it stayed at about 20 to 30 FPS at 800 by 600. Unreal Tournament 2004 was the biggest surprise. At 800 by 600 with the default medium to high settings, we didn't get a slideshow, while at the lowest settings we got playable, but not competitive frame rates. Oblivion would crash when entering the sewers. Ooh. Far Cry was a slideshow with DirectX 9. With OpenGL it was better, but still far from playable. GTA Vice City was quite playable. I would recommend turning on the frame limiter, though it did drop under 30 FPS, and there were the occasional freezes. Finally, Rogue of Tycoon 3 was unplayable especially when you play Supreme Ride. Right. General navigation on the desktop was smooth, and YouTube videos could run at 720p 30fps, but that's mainly because of the CPU, as I couldn't get hardware acceleration running even on different browsers. Overall, the Chrome 9 was a mistake in human engineering. Call it waste of silicon, call it a potato, but when the GMA950 released before, the Chrome 9 was quite the substantial improvement. You know you have a stinker in your hands.
Otherwise, there's not much to say about it.